Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is peak index in a mountain array. So array ARR is called a mountain array. If its length is greater than or equal to 3, if there exists an i such that i is between the length of the nums array, so the element pointing at that index i which satisfies this condition is called a mountain array peak. Here you can see the peak of the array is 1 at the first index position and we have to return the index i which satisfies this condition. So the peak index is 1 which is at index 1 so you return 1 as the output. Here the peak is 2 which is at index 1 so you return 1 as the output. So I'm going to show you two approaches to solve this question. One with O of n time complexity and the second approach using O of log n time complexity. Now let's take a look at the first approach with O of n time complexity. I've taken the same example that I've given us. So this is the array and you have to find the peak index inside a mountain array. So this array is going to look like this. So the peak index inside this array is this because from left to right it has increased and it has reached the extremum and from the peak point it has decreased. So that is the peak index. So you can solve this question using two pointer approach where the time complexity will be O of n. So the first pointer will be starting at the beginning of the array. And the right pointer will be starting at the end of the array. So the left pointer will iterate from left to right and the right pointer will iterate from right to left. So first we use a while loop where we move the left pointer to the right. So if the element at the current index is strictly less than the element at its right, we increment the left pointer. Since 0 is less than 10, we increment left. So left is pointing here now. Now again we check if element at left is less than the element at right. No, it is not. So we end the iteration and left will remain the same. Now we take our right pointer. Now we check if the element at right pointer is strictly less than the element to its left. 2 is less than 5. So you decrement right. So right is pointing here. Now again we check if the element at right is strictly uh, less than its adjacent element. Yes, it is strictly less. So decrement right. So right is pointing here. Now again we check if the element at right it is strictly less than the element at left. No. So we end the iteration and right will remain at that position. And now you can return either the left index or right index because at the peak element left will always be equal to right. Now let's take a look at the code. Coming to the function they have given us, this is the function name and this is the input array ARR and we have to return an integer variable as the output which denotes the index position of the peak element. As I said, let us declare two pointers. Left pointer will be starting at the beginning and the right pointer will be starting at the end of the array. The first while loop is for moving the left pointer. So we are going to check if the element at the left pointer is less than the element to the right left plus one. And this while loop will run until left plus 1 is less than the length of the array. So this is for the left pointer. Now let's move the right pointer. So if the element at right pointer is less than the element to its left, that is right minus 1, then we decrement the right pointer. So this is for the right pointer. And the peak element can be found where left and right pointer are meeting. So you return as the output. Now let's take a look at the second approach. Now in this approach, we are going to solve this question using binary search. So the time complexity of this approach will be log n. Now again, we are going to use two pointers, left and right. Left will be pointing at the beginning and right will start from the end. And this while loop will happen until left is always less than right. Now we find the mid element. Mid can be found out with left plus right by 2. So let's start our iteration. Left plus right by 2 is equal to. So mid is equal to 1. Now we have to check if the element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1. So this is mid plus 1. So we check if this is happening. 10 is not less than 5. We can re reduce our search space to the left part of the array. So for that we assign right to mid. So right is pointing here. So find the mid again. Left is 0. Right is 1. 1 by 2 is equal to. So mid is equal to 0. Now we check if element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1. So element at mid is 0 element at mid plus 1 is 10. Yes, it is less. So when this happens, increment the left pointer. And now in the next iteration, when you start, this condition will fail because left is 1 and right is 1. Left is not greater than right. Left is equal to right. So we can end the iteration and return whatever is present at left. Coming to the binary search approach, again we are taking two pointers. Left pointer will be starting at the beginning and the right pointer will be starting at the end of the array ARR. And this while loop will happen until left is less than right. Once these two pointers cross or are equal to each other, we can end the iteration. Inside the while loop, we are calculating the mid element. So to avoid overflow condition, you can use left plus right minus left by 2 or you can do left plus right by 2 since the constraints are low. Now we have to reduce the search space. 
if the element at mid is less than the element at mid plus 1 then left will become mid plus 1 which means you are searching for the space right of mid so if this condition fails if the current element is greater than the element to the right at mid decrement the right pointer meaning we are say we are searching in the space left to mid so as soon as the two pointers meet we can end the iteration and return whatever is present inside left now let's run the code the test cases are running let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of log n and the space complexity is constant o of 1 because we are not using any extra space that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video